Hey, what's up guys? I'm Kim Bonano and welcome back to my channel. Today, we are back with more Red Dead Redemption 2. So I hope you guys are doing well. I am so excited to play some more today. We have so many main missions that we can go and do. We have four available. Four. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I think that we should just go ahead and see what we feel like doing. Uh, I feel, I think we're quite far away because we just, yeah, you guys will see. We have just done a bounty for, can't remember his name, but it was literally the last thing we did in the last video. So, we now, I think we are gonna do the mission with Lenny because it is what have been available to us for the longest. So I would like to get that done. Or not get it done, but to do that. Um, so, I think <sighs> now fast traveling is not gonna be, it's not gonna become like something we do all the time, but I have literally gone from Strawberry and to our new camp so many times already. It is kind of ridiculous. Yep. Well, not ridiculous, but I think I've seen pretty much everything. <laughs> so if we can set up camp and then travel. Well, since it is nighttime, we might as well just um, make sure I can't set up tent here. That's interesting. Oh, I can. Here we go. Just need to go into the raw menu. Let's get Arthur some sleep and then we can head back in the morning. I learned last time our camp is called Clemens Point. So let's travel there instead. Narthen need to go and shave everything but his lovely mustache that I love so dearly. <laughs> I love these small um, shots of uh, the landscape while the game is loading. Who goes there? Yeah, mom. Here we are. I feel like also by doing this, we have more time to, you know, to actually spend some time in the camp and to talk to everyone instead of using 15 minutes just getting here. Well, maybe 5 to 10. It's too soon. What you doing? I can't talk to you for some reason. Oh, Arthur, can we get some stew or has he... Yeah, it's not there. Hi, Taylor. Good morning, Arthur. Why have you got a guilty look? I don't. Okay. You're up to something, Miss Jackson. Yes. See you later. Really? Hmm. Mary Beth. Good morning, Arthur. Hi, Mary Beth. So, you ain't bored of this place yet? I guess not. All things considered, it ain't that bad. Sure. Yeah, I mean, they have like this amazing view. I think if I was, you know, living in this day and age and I was at this camp, I'd 
just be sitting by the lake with a, a sketchbook and or pen and paper and just draw all day. Hey there. Hi. Good morning. You see miles away. I'm fine. Just sound a anyway, bit defensive about that. Not my business, I guess. Talk to you later. She's very... She gets mad very quickly. Morning. Good day, Mr. Morgan. You got this place whipped into shape, all right. I'm trying. What's Jack doing? I'm curious. Jagger boy. Don't go too close to the water here, Jack. I won't, Uncle Arthur. Good boy. Oh. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Let me know if you find candy. Don't we have candy on us? Anyway. Lenny, my favorite boy. Arthur. Yes, kid. You got a lot on? No. I got time. Ah. Uh. Just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well, worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. <laughs> Adventure time. I was hoping you'd be in. If it's how they told it, it's gonna be something all right. We'll see. Oh boy. Don't get me all excited, Lenny. <gasps> oh, I love his horse. Where'd you get it? <laughs> Come on, it's this way. On me. Good job, Kieran. Sorry if you can hear my dog snoring. You know, I might have met these crazies before. You've been drinking again? No. Well, yes, but no, that's not how I might have met them. Is it the Lamont Raiders? Some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were yeah. coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler. Yeah, and Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's terrifying. Mm -hmm. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Pecklewood idiots in the state of Lamont. That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them, but I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. I might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a, a glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Out west, it's out west is out west, and you're all who you are, right? decent folks. But some places down here, they judge different. Well, I guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. I'm sorry you're caught up in this. Well, I guess their gold's still shining, and their guns still shoot. 
So I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> okay, then. Plus, it beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does. Uh, Are you not? <laughs> that was close. Some shady bell. Have we been there? I feel like we've heard that name before. Or oh, is it that big camp we've uh, come across? Feels like we're close. It's a rundown old plantation house down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're gonna want to strategize a little before getting shot at. <laughs> of course. Or is they it just at the church? The battlefield and keep on going. Yeah, I've been here before. Yeah. I can see the wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? See that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. They do. We can confirm that. At least we've killed a few of them. <laughs> Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. Yeah. Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. Is that a saying? Hear that? Someone's on the track. Let's have a nosy. Oh. Look oh. there. A wagon. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers. Out on the road. Hey, that looked like dynamite in the back there? It looks like we're on to something. I think mm. I see something. End of the avenue, between the trees. Yeah, there's a house. Might be it. Might be. <laughs> Keep it steady. Hey, big plantation house. <laughs> Must be Shady Bear. I reckon we can leave our mounts up there, off the trail. Good enough to me. Somewhere here? Are you coming? Come on. Yeah. We can get a view on them from that wall up there. Make sure you bring the sharpshooter. I'll oh. take the other side. You get in cover there. Okay. Are we shooting our way out of this? <gasps> oh, that house looks amazing. Um. How do we do this again? There we go. Use your weapon scope. You see anything through your scope? Just a moment. I'll wait on your safe. You got men covering the house. You got men everywhere. Off near the porch. Down by the road. We'd do well to draw them into one spot if we're gonna make a pass at this. What else? Look over to the left. You ain't seen anything worth shooting or stealing? Can you look again for me? I know dynamite crates when I see them. We got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? 
Just draw them into one spot, then I'll start shooting. Well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But hey, I'm always up for performance. Just be careful. Just give the word. Oh, I kind of just want to shoot dynamite. Head on. You save your play acting for Jose and the girls. <laughs> Fine by me. You gonna make a move? A miss. Where I'm shooting. There we go. Got him. Got him. Not all of them. Quick! Any men in the area would have heard that. They might be on the way. Now let's grab something and get out. Sounds like a plan. So area for weapons. Arms. There might be guns in these wagons. All right. Hey, this could be promise. What do you got? I don't know. Here. Come on. This is full of new rifles. <gasps> we can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Let's what? go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. No, don't. Yep. I would be so uncomfortable driving this with dynamite and someone comes after us. They're gonna blow us to pieces. We need to get these back. Now, Lenny, you better be ready. I feel like people are going to come after us. Riders, coming our way. Keep it together. Hey, stop. What's a black fella doing coming out of Shady Bell? In one of our wagons. We was uh, doing some business with your brothers back there. You don't look like any kind of folk we deal with. Our business was conducted to the satisfaction of all parties. Until now, that is. Nope. 
No. Something don't feel right about this. Not him and not you neither, Yankee. Get these lines back. Anyone chasing us? I should think we're out of the woods then, so to speak. <laughs> boy, oh boy. <laughs> you did good. <laughs> we did it. Well, let's get to camp before saying anything like that. I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately, and I wanted to. <sighs> it's good to have something to show like this. Sean's a loudmouth brag. Don't worry about what Sean does. Hey, I like them, you know? Well, so do I. Guess my better judgment. Just <laughs> you worry about you. He wasn't on the Viticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackwater. But enough, but enough. Me and Dutch, and everyone who counts, we know what you do for this game. We notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. You're a good boy, Lenny. Hey, the camp's in these trees up here. Let's get there. Well, we made quite a mess, but I guess, um... Oh, show me. Arthur, Lenny, coming back! These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. <gasps> hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. Bold action rifle. <gasps> Let's go. Hey, asshole. Look at you. What are you talking about now? <laughs> Don't want to sit on those rifles too long. Sure thing. Well, handle it quick, please. Okay, I'll catch you later then. All right, Arthur. Not you again. Mr. Arthur. <laughs> there he is. Hey, Arthur. You know, this camp ain't so bad. Not bad at all. Hey, Sadie. This is that. Why don't you just sit down instead of milling about the place? Sure. How is it you're Yoga. sitting on that? I think so. Everything okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Why? No reason. Just making sure. Okay, Arthur. She's so pretty. How are you? Not much. Dr. Lenny. Ah, okay. Got some weapons you could sell. All right, well, I should be getting on. Take care, Arthur. <gasps> Food. Evening. Hey. Mind if I sit? Guess not. There's a bowl floating over there. Oh. So, Abigail. How about you and I go into town sometime? I'm afraid mother and don't leave me much spare time, Mr. Bell. Okay. Okay. 
Well, uh, if you change your mind, I'd show you a real good time. Real good. And, uh, I've always fancied fathering. The boy has a father, Mr. Bell. If you say so. If you say so. Arthur! Come on, Jack. Stay Come away back. from me. <laughs> but I got a tip. That's exactly what I'm afraid of. Oh, it's a goodie, I'm telling you. It always is with you. Then we end up hidden in a burning barn getting shot at. You're a sad man, Arthur Morgan. Sad man indeed. Okay, well, let's talk more later. What was Kane doing? You okay, boy? Mike is such a sleaze. Don't you have nothing better to do? I'm just being friendly. No, you ain't. I gotta go ask if she's okay. If he keeps giving you trouble, you let me know. Oh, I can handle that, fool. <laughs> I've no doubt. Well, I should get back to it. Uh-huh. What you two doing? Have a nice evening. Hi. Mary Beth. Arthur. Bill? Looks like we're robbing something. I don't like that. Um, and for Dutch we need to go with some bounty hunters. Go spy. I kind of want to... You know... I think we're gonna do... Like... The mission with Hosea next, just because I I love Hosea. He's a great man. Hang in there. We'll be back on track soon. I'm fine, Arthur. Don't worry about me. Just making sure. Good evening to you. Evening, Arthur. Why, sir? I thought the opium did it for your appetite. Usually does. I am not an opium user, sir. I take morphine for medical reasons. <laughs> Whatever you say, Reverend, it's all the same with me. You're weak, and you're hiding, and your being up there in heaven don't give two shits about you. So you take opium to feel okay, and them's the facts. Them ain't the facts, sir. I'm sorry, Reverend. But the way I see it, your kind is parasites, deceiving people, and a greater evil than those of us who know better. Is that so? Yes, it is. Excuse me. You're excused. Mike is such an ass. Honestly. Like, what is Stevie doing here? There honestly can't be a single person here who likes him except for Dutch. And the only reason Dutch likes him is because he's such a kiss ass. The only person he's nice to is Dutch. Because he knows that's how he can, you know, get his evil, evil plans out in the world is to manipulate or to not manipulate, but to just be like, put ideas in with Dutch and be like, what if we do this? Arthur, Arthur. I could not care less what you want, Dutch. Not right now. There we go.
I feel like Dutch is also just getting more and more impatient. Or just annoying. <sighs> well, we're gonna we're gonna go to Hosea. And then we can always talk to people a bit more later. Oh, my journal. <gasps> With me. I don't know, like, every time it says that there's a new journal entry, I don't know if it's just when we have skinned an animal that, you know, more drawings get added to some of the the pages, but there's nothing on. I guess so. Not gonna make it past a lot. That's for sure. Hey, friend. You had a lucky day last time. Want to stack up? Woo. Got fresh rounds in my rifle and strong coffee in my gut. What'd you say to another game? Sure. Won't say no. Let's fire off a few. Happy days. Just like last time, whoever shoots the most bottles wins. All right. Stand alongside me. Soon as you pull your weapon to aim, we let fly. Okay. Go. Oh yes. Is there more? more. <laughs> oh, I'm taking plenty of notes. That's just how it goes when you poke the beast. Wanna try it again though? Raised stakes. Sure. You're on. Well, that's what I like to hear. We'll do the birds again. First to knock four out of heaven gets the win. Stand close. As soon as you see them, start shooting. Wait for it. There they go now. Shoot. Where? Oh. Let's go! Redemption! <laughs> All right, then. I'll give you that one. Here you go. As promised. Thanks, friend. All right. Careful now. Next time, I may not hold back. See, the thing is, I could not really see the bottles, I feel like. Um, Girl. at least not that many, but 
At least I, I won this. The most important one. Should we... Where's this bird? There. A mark and crow. I guess all of them are gonna be poor. In poor condition. There we go. But they're not gonna go to waste. Yeah, I guess like every time if we meet the same person with those um, shooting competitions that the stakes are gonna be higher. So I feel like last time it was like five bucks and then ten bucks and then this time it was ten twenty. So yeah, definitely helped to use uh, a raffle. I'm excited for this mission. I love doing uh, missions with Hosea. He's such such a character, so charismatic and just f funny. And him and Arthur is just such a good dynamic or good duo. So I really enjoy them, those two together. with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along now. Can we just, uh... Yeah, you good, girl? There we go. You're gonna have to look nice All when right, we're in the girl. richest, the richest territory. Should he go to get inside? Get to go inside? What am I saying? <gasps> Look at that staircase. Ah, oh, please come in, sir. Oh boy! This way, sir. Find choice of tobacco. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big, but his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliger Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but... One hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you in a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. <laughs> Up on. I'll fill you in on the way. No, I'm driving. <laughs> Fine. Oh, Arthur. Ready? Let's get out of here. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of horse. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat. 
I'm pulling clean out of his arse. A smug fucker. Okay. So what's she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yep. Using that back there. The moonshine? Burns faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. All I'm thinking is how about... Oh, oh my God. My boot up your hook. No, just snotty old bitch. <laughs> Jose really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't he? Ah. Oh. Given as usual, Flannan. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons. I mean, I'm off for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. They're really barely some bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still. Tried to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry, I got a plan. Of course you do. go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they're taking on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery, that's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> All right, I have yeah. no doubt that you can. <laughs> Jesus. Jack Carner. So we're actually gonna sit there field on fire and be like yeah, that's a good idea. I do get that we are working. Look at the craftsmanship on that. <laughs> like, I get that we are working on both sides and then... I don't know. Whoa, to get double pay. Second. You not worried about them greys, English? Excuse me? You not worried about them greys? In what sense? Well, they know you. Yeah. Right. You know what? Here, I'll go hide and back. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight uh, yeah. before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> <laughs> Change Arthur's point of view. Mm. We're here. Stay out of sight. What are you doing? Hey, hold it right there. Yeah, I didn't even think that they would or think about that they would probably recognize Arthur. What do you want, boy? I've I've there, there was a thing a, a, a thing at the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Hey, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean you no harm. Uh, I, I've come from Donegal in, in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident. At oh, the it's a fellow redhead. Town. I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions. I'll tell you no lies. Uh, sort of business. Uh, <sighs> Before the officials got there, oh, they okay. said. Okay. Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink, Sean. <coughs> Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. 
<laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. I'm not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? Then you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> that laugh. <laughs> so great. Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I never been a feller to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> So, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. Bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear, I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. Just in there. All right, you are. Oh, well, are we gonna have to take him out? <laughs> <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <clears throat> uh, quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses there, uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy places they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest places imaginable, eh? Mm. Well, the average man sups on shite, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why'd you have to kill him? I can hold up in here till it gets dark. How are you getting on? Good. He seems so nice. You really got these things ready. Molotovs? Woo! Okay. There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm going to deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine. And then we light things up with these little fellas here. Thankfully, it ain't rained. And that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> How many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. <laughs> Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was born burning down manor houses. We'll burn quietly. <laughs> Hello, Shona. There's someone coming on the left. Ha. Oh, hey. Well, I, I thought the wagon already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? We'll take care of this fella. Come on. You douse the fields. I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble. Uh, rock. Okay. No one see me? Alright. Um Okay.
I'm so focused. I don't, really don't want to get spotted. That should do it. Yeah. That's good for you. Oh, there's a guy right there. Is he gonna keep standing there? I don't know if it helps that it's night time that they might have a bit more trouble seeing us. Okay. What's he doing? I feel like he, him over there, he's going to see me. Christ, I'm bored. Okay. Here we go. Meet Sean at the barn. And... There we go! <gasps> so intense! There's a guy over there. <laughs> oh my god. Now is that the bar? Is he gonna go get him? Nice. Kill him good. Or you give this a quick dousing as well. Alright. I'm coming. Huh. Burn the bar. Let's burn those bloody fields to the ground. You ain't leaving here. We'll hold this lot up. You get no fear. Somebody shut him. Hee hee. Got the horse from his table. Come on. Oh, that's Ben. Not right now. We got company. Look out. Where are these bastards coming from? Probably got them on the perimeter, don't you think? Look out! There's more of them! Oh shit. Shit! Oh, you're going to go! 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 Oh, you're going to go!
Oh, don't want to shoot the horse. This is a goddamn mess. But they're distracted by. There goes out right out of here. The wagon we saw come in earlier. We can nick the horses from that. All right, where is it? This way. Shit! Lord of the bastards! I got the right hand. Come on! Oh, come on. Stay with me! Oh, God! Hold it in! You're down! You're in trouble now! Almost can't see them. What did you expect when they said they had higher security because of recent events? God, I am so focused. Why? We are going straight out the front gate. All right. Go. Jesus, that turned into a late party. You call that a party? That <sighs> well, hell of a party then. Let's just get out of here first. Yeah, she better pay well for that. I think we lost them. That we did. Quite a night. Sure. Interesting little fight Dutch has put us into the middle of here. Uh. I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Why not? Not a fan of what we did, but it's a mission, so we have to. Here we are. Home sweet home. Can you let Jose know how we got on? Will do. Hey, you got any tobacco? <laughs> I'm busting for the smoke. John. <laughs> Well then, that was a success. <laughs> and yeah, then I guess it's gonna be a while before we can do John's mission. I hope it doesn't 
cancel it so that we can't do that now. I feel like since it's a yellow mission, it's not gonna... We will be able to do it... Um, ...later. So let's just... And this is what I mean when it says like, you know, 40, 41% done and why I said it was surprising to me. But I did notice that when we go into progress, it says the story is only like 32% done. So our total completion is 41% and that's what it means when we go to the story progress or the when we save so that was just why I was a bit confused because I know that the game is huge so I was like why let's say we're like 40% done Mark, uh, my old friend join us please don't call me friend All right. Yeah. Don't like you, Micah. Never have. Never will. Hi, Arthur. Hello, Tilly. The Reverend drunk Hi. again. Hello, Mr. Morgan. Pearson. Hi, Mr. Bell. Hey, Pearson. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, it morning. is. I guess what's the time? Okay, it's five in the morning. <laughs> oh, who's wearing a hat? Who's wearing a hat? Who's wearing a hat? I'll get on those debts. Good, good. They better be. I love his hat. Oh, you up and early? Good morning to you. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Some of these guys wake Howdy, up very folks. early. Good morning, Arthur. <gasps> How's that? You okay? Hey, Fenton! <laughs> <laughs> oh, never again. <laughs> oh, they're amazing, those two. <sighs> well, do we need to shave? Arthur. Arthur. I don't think so. No? Should we have something made? Sure. Looking real nice. Wait, no? Now it's available. Okay. Um, I think we're gonna go and do John's mission. And then we can go and say hi to Albert. I'm a little bit worried he might get eaten by a crocodile, but oh well. And I will... What, what way does it want us to go? Okay. I was gonna say I'm gonna try my best to avoid saying to Denise. Because some of you would got a little bit, well, not mad that we actually went here, but just, um, yeah. No. Not gonna get into that. What happened happened, alright. Okay, John's mission? How are you? Not good. It ain't easy being me. Well, keep your chin up. You are feeling very sorry for yourself, right. aren't you? Uh, hello. Keep your mouth shut, and you might survive the week. Hey, come on. I, like, I get it's difficult to get antagonized. I'm not antagonizing him, I'm just There's greeting no him. Watching you. Yep, alright, i see ya. <laughs> but I, I do understand that well. it's tough to have people on your neck all the time doubting you hey there Charles if you're not interested fine 
That just really starting to piss me off. If you know interested in What's this? Former Fabian Raider kills in gun battle? Former Fenian Raider killed in gun battle. After uh, decades escaping justice, the law finally caught up with Derek McGuire. Mr. McGuire was a well known Fenian and proponent of Irish independence who had attacked the Empire and all it stands for on two continents. Gover Government agents who had pursued him for many years once found the traitor at a farmhouse outside of Clifton in Connemara, but he eluded them. A desperate manhunt ensued and it was discovered Mr. McGuire had fled to America. Finally, Mr. McGuire was found lodging in a rooming house in Boston, Man Mass Massachusetts. Uh, there the men bravely engaged in a gun battle with the traitor who was killed in the action. Reports from family members uh, that he was murdered in his sleep were denied by other witnesses as little more than further Fenian propaganda. Tonight all law-abiding citizens in Ireland and across the empire will sleep easier in the beds. As long ago as 1860, Mr. McGuire was implicated in the so-called Fenian uh, uprising that swept through Galway, burning three large property, three large properties, and leaving many dead. To escape capture, he fled to Canada, where he was part of a Fenian raid near the Great Fall of Niagara. I don't know. That left eight people dead. Later, he returned to Ireland, where, despite being wanted for murder, he became a prominent figure in Republican politics. In a battle that he and his ilk waged against the Paris Parasitic Aristocracy of Ireland, whether English or Irish, a personal war against the natural order of things that damaged landowners, ruined farmers, and disrupted the peaceful prop propagation of life as it meant to be as it as it is meant to be lived now after decades of disruption and treason justice caught up with mr mcguire so why is this here is this sean's dad or something i'm not sure me and lenny brought some guns in robbed him off that gang that runs around here Good work, Arthur. I figure you'd know best how to sell them. Anyway, I won't disturb you. See you later. Bye bye. All righty. Now, I'm not gonna. I see. Is it Bill and Karen? Oh, by the wagon. Been a while, girl. We're one hundred percent robbing the bank in Valentine because they have been talking about it, and Bill kind of wanted to try and take over for Karen. Hey, Arthur. What the hell was that? Just what is your game? You got such a chip on your <laughs> shoulder, don't you? <laughs> Jeez. I'm a little bit excited to see what we're going to be doing at the Greys. If we're going to go and talk to them or if we're just spying. I'm not sure. Anything here? Can I check the back here? Mm -hmm. 
I guess not. Let's go, girl. Yeah. She sometimes, or at least one time, we've seen like a an abandoned um, wagon, and then there is like a a thing we could loot. So it's worth checking. I'm surprised we haven't like done anything else with uh, being the deputy. Oh, stranger mission. Is it the guy by the tree? You won't. You okay? <laughs> Do I look okay? <laughs> no. You look awful. Ugh. Awful. Look at me. Useless. I wasn't born to this. I didn't deserve this. I used to be a gentleman. Jeremiah Compson. Compson stead. Good for you. If that's anything to boast about. They took everything from me. Who did? They. And what did they take? My whole life. A whole way of living, a career. I stole a lot of things, but that's quite a lot to steal. Look at me here, living in the shit and the mud. I'm sorry. Ooh. My old house. The house my grandfather built. It's all dilapidated and destroyed, repossessed by the bank. I'm sorry to hear that. I was supposed to live a different life. Me too. If only I could get my old things back. Personal mementos, a watch, old pistol, my ledger. Where's this house again? Compson Stead. It's a north of... Scarlet Meadows. <laughs> Banks says I can't go near it. I'm living rough over by Aris Field. Well, if I'm ever out that way, I'll see what I can do. Time. Time is hell. Mm. So how far away is it? Oh, there's another? Jesus Christ. It's been a while since we've been on roads, hasn't it? All right then. This man, he understands. Hmm. Okay, girl. Okay. Let's go and see what this other stranger mission is. That maybe we can do. Those two instead, and well, I'll be hanged. Come on, now I need, I need a work here, you bastard. Come on, I'm hungry. I got my legs thrown off. What'd you all do? <laughs> Aside from sit around here and whine. Didn't think I'd see that today. Morning. Hey, hey, it's good to see you again, friend. How you keeping? Oh. <laughs> I'm miserable. Because of the leg? Ah, oh, no, I'm used to the leg. I mean, I've been without it a whole lot longer than I was with it. <laughs> nah, it's a people. Yeah, a bunch of nasty, miserable peasants I gotta share this place with. Why don't you leave? Leave? Well, I live here. <laughs> They're my nasty, miserable people. I've been hating on them for so long, if I forgot to hate them, I wouldn't know what day it was. Yeah, but you, man, you ought to get out of here and you ought to stop coming back. I think I saw a comment on 
you know, giving this man money because, you know, what he fought for in that war is not something you might I'm sure you agree with. Do. Don't let me keep you. And while I do, you know, think what he fought for, if I understood it correctly, <laughs> is a bit, um, well, fucked up. But he is... You know, he can't, in this day and age, he can't work or really do anything, so... I was like, there's no need for him to to starve, so yeah. He gets like a dollar to get some food. Who is this? You okay there, mister? You need me to move. Move? I am. I'm sitting in the wrong place. Excuse me? No, I didn't mean any offense, sir. Please. I don't get your meaning. I'm very sorry, sir. You have yourself a fine day, and I apologize for any offense I may have inadvertently caused. What are you drinking, mister? Nothing, sir. Nothing at all. Why are you acting so strange? I don't mean to. I'm sorry for any offense. How could you have offended me? I have no idea. But I had no idea how I offended the last fellas. And they stole my wagon on account of my impudence. Stole your wagon for back check? Mm, they didn't like my medical practice, I suppose. I was helping folk. And that wasn't popular? I was undercutting the competition. Or I was too colored. Or I was irritating in nature. Or I was some know-it-all big city slicker here to demean some good old boys of my fine words. The exact variety of my sins was the source of some conjecture, so they undercut me. That ain't very nice. That was my impression. Still, compared to the gutting, castration, defenestration, and crucifixion they offered me, I felt I got off lightly. Imaginative. Oh, I forgot to press record. I'm sorry. With my wisdom and services. <sighs> Which way they go? Down the road, that away. Stay here. I'm sort of forced to. Please don't go to any trouble on my account. Mm hmm. Are you, look Are you looking for that fellow's wagon? I heard him say they was taking it to Macomb's Inn. Okay, thanks. Oh, we're doing this right now. Okay. Come on, girl. And that is... Oh my god. Okay. It's just... So... I can't stress it enough. So, so wrong that people get treated badly or different just because of the color of their skin. Like, it's just so, so messed up. I can't even imagine. <sighs> people just suck sometimes, man. It's so stupid. So if we can make this guy's day just a little bit better by getting his wagon back, then I'd say job well done. As long as they leave him alone afterwards and doesn't come back. in the swamp area we're going. I think it is. It looked like it on the map, so... Bunny. Bunny, 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 bunny. 
I always think this area looks so cool. Like that. Just the overgrown. I don't know if... Is there walls there or is it just like 100% plantation? Because it looks so cool. And you can just hear all the... I don't know if it's crickets, but you can just hear like this... Like all the insects and such. It's just really... Yep. Sets a mood. You can almost sense how moist this area is. <laughs> so up now. Doctor friend of mine lost his wagon. You all ain't seen it, have you? Up with it. Thank you. You tell your friend we gonna pay him a visit. Now get out of here. I'm still Oh shit. There's one guy left, potentially. Just eat some fish first. There he is. If you don't, boys, I'll go. There's his wagon. Okay. Just loot. Don't know if they have anything on them. It's worth anything, but thirty-six cents. Holy moly! Can we go in here? Nothing we'd want in here. Can we go in here? No. Oh, we got him in the shoulder, not the head. Oh, well. Okay, can we actually get them out of here? It looks like... Oh. Yeah, they're in deep. Oh, well. Okay, come on. Get you back to the dock. Let's get you back to the guy you belong to. Dr. Renault? 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 Wait, how do you say his name? Renault. Renault. I don't know. I like the little thing he's got on top of the wagon. It's cute.
Yeah, like, they're so nasty just saying, we're gonna pay your friend a visit. It's like... <laughs> no. No, you're not. Because we won't let him, and now they can't. My God. Hiss off. What the hell do you want with this thing? That all of you? Shit. Why are they so Idiot. determined to get this? Is there something special about it? That we do not know yet? It's just stashed with gold. <laughs> I don't know. It's weird. Let's eat some more. Gritty fish. <laughs> do the gritty. <laughs> I always go quite slow with the wagons, just having the horse uh, trot along instead of um, cantering. Because I'm always... like these wagons sometimes just look so flimsy. I'm scared that the wheel is gonna pop off or I'm gonna crash it or something. It's gonna fall over. But I guess we can hurry up a little bit. This is sounds. <laughs> I feel like it's just gonna. <laughs> Getting close. Almost there. Don't mess it up. We might want to go a bit slower in town so we don't run anyone over. Go, buddy. Look who it is. I did not count on seeing that wagon again. Nor you, for that matter. The only people you won't be seeing are the folks that took it. Uh, I take it they aren't the only ignorant bullying clodhoppers in these parts. But I can live in glorious hope. Now, it wasn't a trouble now, was it? No, it was a pleasure. Yeah. Let me give you something for your pleasure. Ah, what we got here. Ah, how about this? Provide a man a tincture, he'll be well for a day. Teach him to make one, he might be well a while longer. I'll mm. make sure to try and make this. Thank you. Thank you. It won't work for anything chronic, but you may not need it to. Well, if you see me on my travels and you're in need of something, make sure you come and say hello. Travel safe now. What a nice fella. No good deed. 
And we got a special health cure. This medicinal tonic features yarrow variants. Uh, variants were first were first used by the ancient Greeks. Mace, when mixed and boiled with ginseng, is a great blood purifier and quickly restores full health. It was called life medicine by Indians who use it to break fevers and colds, boost health, and apply to wounds. Used as an something an overall health booster. The Chinese use it in all manner of treatments, including treating disease of the bowels. How to prepare. Carefully mix two of each herb in a metal cup. Boil over fire until reduced to a sticky liquid. Place in a glass bottle with a stopper. Um, administer as needed to boost health. Did you know? For carbon... Carp... Carbon chill of something. <laughs> I lost him. I mean, I lost You're still him. here. Someone must have seen an Englishman. Really funny he is. <laughs> Hello, mister. Have you seen Gavin? You still haven't found him? <laughs> no, nope. but I won't give up. He's lost. One morning, I just woke up and he wasn't there. Someone must have taken it. Oh, maybe he just left. Gavin? <laughs> no. No. We were best mates. I mean, really, best mates. He he'd never leave me. Never. Gavin! Oh, I am so worried. Gav! Gav! Uh, Gav! Where are you? Where are you? Can you actually find Gavin? Or is he like ill? And he thinks. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Where the hell are you? Where are you? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Let's uh, go to John's mission, and then we can see about these other two. Hey, mister! That's one nice-looking horse you got there. There she is again! How about we see how fast it is? First one of Catfish Jackson's. No, I'm oh, sorry. No, thanks. I suit yourself. See, that's the horse we can buy in Strawberry. So it's it's like super fast. It's really really fast. I think it had like max speed or something. Yep. So I don't even know if we would be able to beat her. All right, Johnny boy. Where you wet? Horse flesh. Oh yeah, it's the. Can I help the... you? Oh, yeah. Well, looks like you boys had some trouble. <sighs> yeah, we had some trouble. Bad trouble. What you want? Oh, I was supposed to meet some business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe. Fellow with a scar and a Mexican. Yes, sir. Out by the stables, I think. Thank you. And uh sorry for your troubles, friend. Sounds so sincere.
All right, then. Stealing some horses or transporting something or... I see there are horses right there. everybody and there's trouble everywhere bandits attack my fields men getting killed just who are you and have you met my partner arthur morgan no i met your son the sheriff okay mr gray here was saying how he had problems with a family a family of degenerates Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaite's? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you 5,000. 5,000? For horses? Easy. And where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Oh, over there, we'll run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Go to the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbred. I see. Alright then. Ah! Crazy old fool. If he only knew we just torched his tobacco crop. That was you? The old man was cursing the Braithwaite's about that. Burning rich folks property? Sean was like a pig in shit. I'm sure. Five thousand for horses. They must be rich. They are. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But if we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. Hmm. So how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded. So there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. Let's see. Okay, so we're stealing them. <sighs> of course we are. Careful. There's a guard. I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. Our partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. But perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay then, but head on up to the stables. Mm -hmm. Someone will come see you. People are very naive, but I also believe that he would get in trouble if it was true and then he had I'm turned them with. away. Nice and easy. No need to rush. 
I don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. But wouldn't Arthur, again, like we talked about before, Tranquilo. get recognized? All right. I think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down. Play cool. We'll head around the front. Hitch up there. Guess not. I would have also used like cover names. Let me do the talking. The stable here. All right. Because if things were to end up badly, I don't believe it's good to have you know them know your real name. Hello there. Can I help you boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs. Looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. If that's what you're interested in. What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. Well, this here's Cerberus. There you go, boy. Cerberus is a real reliable stud. Fathered many a race winner. This one's uh, old faithful. <laughs> he was a champion, briefly. Until he hurt his leg, didn't you, boy? Amazing runner, though. He's up for sale for a decent price. The boss will probably sell him to you if you made the right offer. And this here is Old Father Time. <laughs> My favorite. Uh huh, greaser, huh? Okay, bandana's on. Don't need nobody recognizing us. Alright, I'll grab the white one in the middle, you get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Whoa, easy. Easy now. Easy. It's okay. Marston, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. Alright. Wait. You okay? Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Uh oh. Get going, you two. I want What the hell are you doing? Stop! 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 Oh. I said stop these men! Stop! Oh, Run him over! More coming this way! Out of the fields! Watch it! There's guards by that wagon! Ah. God damn! Okay. 
Jesus. Whoa, you okay there, boy? Oi. Shit. Do I need um One of the stallions is loose. Keep going. I'll get him. Uh-oh. Yep. Get back here. Got you. Easy, 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 easy. Oh. Come on now. I don't want to get kicked in the face. What am I? What am I doing? It's an Arabian. This way. Come on. Yep. Okay. I think we're good. Hey, Morgan. Over here. You got it. Well done. Clemens Cove's just over there. Come on. Let's get this over with. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. <laughs> you think they look like they're paying 5000 for horses? I guess we'll see. Yeah. Maybe it's a setup. want heard you was uh, heard you paid good prices for horses oh we'll buy more or less anything pop that's so sure pop I'm Clay Davies that's my brother Clive we're twins okay John Arthur Javier <clears throat> so what are you Cuban no I don't like Cubans that's so Maybe. Why, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you... I can give you 654. Okay. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right, you goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got five thousand dollars, boys. But nice meeting you. See you boys again, I hope. Come on, yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Here we just get ripped off. Believed a yarn spun us by one of that Gray family, and imagined we was gonna be wonderfully rich. At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. You can sell horses to Clay and Clive at Clements Cove. They will pay more than a stable for stolen horses, but less for purchased. All right. So I guess we have some journal entries. No. Maybe not. Oh, 
Well then. My lady. You back already? How you doing? I'm fine. Okay. Folks are worried about you, that's all. Whatever you say. Hmm. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end that video there. Um, I did not have more time to record that day. Usually when I record like two videos in a day, it's um, it's easily like six or seven hours that's just passing by. So sorry for a little bit of a shorter video, but we're going to make up for it in the next video. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'd really appreciate it if you leave a like on the video and subscribe to my channel. I also stream over on Twitch and can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And if you'd like to support my channel even more, you can check out the links in the description down below. That's all for me for now. So bye and take care.